So here is a conventional router that you might find from an electronics or computer store. And we can utilize this to create a wireless connection between our personal devices for control on EOS. So the first choice we have to discover and realize is on the back of the unit, there are different connections or ports on a router. This is different than a wireless access point. So most folks will find a router from their own personal collection or at a local store, and you have different ports. On this particular one, we have one labeled with a yellow for internet, and that would connect to a modem. And what we want to utilize are the multiple ports that could be labeled as a different color than yellow, they could be labeled for ethernet, or they could be uh, described as LAN ports or local area network. So what we want to do is we want to take our network cable and connect it to any one of these uh, Ethernet, LAN, or blue ports. So this is my console that I'm connecting to. It's an Ion XE, and I have two Ethernet ports on the back. So the other end of my network port is going to connect to one of those available ports. For the most part, I want to utilize port 2 for this connection. Port 1 is typically used for a lighting network, so that might already be utilized, so I'll use port 2. Not every console has multiple ports, and in that case that reduces our availability and we would connect to the single port. So now my connections are done. I have my router with one of the LAN ports connected to an Ethernet cable, and that runs over to port 2 on my INXE. So I moved over to a Geo at 5 for a larger screen real estate. And the next step I want to do is verify the software version that my console is in. So I'm going to press the About key. And if you look up here, we're in version 3.2.10. I'm going to press About to make that go away. In version 3.2, I can change the network settings in the show file itself. So I'm going to take my cursor and go to Setup. And I'm going to go to Device Settings. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to go into network. So I have a couple of things working against me for my port 2 setup here. My subnet mask, which is seen over here, so you can see that from the left, is set to 255.0.0.0. So I want to change this subnet mask to be the same as what I found on my iPhone. So now I have that as 255.255.255.0 to match my phone. And now I need the top three IP uh, octets to match what my phone was saying. So 192.168 matches, but the third octet, 65, doesn't. I need to change that to one, so I'm going to adjust that. And then I'm going to change the default gateway to that third octet being one. This obtain IP automatically might seem tempting, but what that is going to do is tell the console to look for a DHCP server, and that's not going to be coming from a typical router's local area network port. And then the console will self-assign to its reserved IP address and not work. So we're going to do, leave this manual setting with the adjustment that I've made, and I'm going to click Apply. So now my console is booted up, and so now what I want to do is I want to go into Setup System Settings. 
look yeah. underneath mobile apps and make sure my app connections are allowed. I'm now in front of a Geo at 5 with an older software version, so if I click the About screen, it's going to say it's in 2.9.3. In version 2.9.3 or below, and version 3.0 and 3.1, changing the network settings is in a different screen. So I'm going to press About again, and I'm going to select Exit. Once I'm in the primary backup screen, I'm going to click on Settings. And then in the top right, I'm going to click on Network. And then here is where I would change those settings that I showed you before. Luckily, those kept. But if you're in a version of 2.9.3.0 or 3.1 or earlier, you'd need to change the network settings here.